Today FM's Dermot and Dave. What have you been doing during lockdown? Well, comedian Bernard O'Shea, who you'll know, of course, from shows like Bridget and Eamon, well, he's been using lockdown as a way to educate himself in many of our stranger Irish traditions. Uh, he's on the line. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning from um, my lockdown number three. Please tell us the ancient Irish history <laughs> of flat seven up. My mother used to say to me when I was growing up, if I had anything, I could have verrucas, headaches, gum boils, fevers. It was like, oh, do you know what's very good for that? Flat seven up, right? <laughs> yeah, along with uh, milk and magnesia and dock leaves. Oh, dock yeah. leaves. Were, oh, if you just sting, get dock leaves. And milk and magnesia was just, I think it was kind of like, um, if, if, you, if you, in another life, if you did something horrific, you were given milk and magnesia in your present life. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> but, um, along with putching as well, there was a thing in the 80s about putching. If like, if you broke your leg, or rub a bit of putty in. <laughs> but unlike, say, 7-Up, right, you could go and you could get 7-Up um, in a shop, right? Mm. But I was thinking, where did it come from? I thought initially it was just basically like an electrolyte replacement. Do you know what I mean? So somebody went to a doctor in 1982 and went, I have the runs. And the doctor went, okay, just get some 7-Up and drink that and it will replace the sugars, right? But then I was thinking, but like sugar has been used for thousands of years to treat diarrhea, shock and hangovers, sometimes they all happen at the same time. <laughs> but, um, and I've had the experience, right, I've given, I don't know if you have, you have small kids, but I remember once, literally, I brought a child back to life by giving her a Capri son. It's like, oh my God. Is, is that my... <laughs> Thank you. So I was thinking, flat seven up. Why is it flat seven up, right? So I did a bit of research, a genuine bit of research, right? And here we go. Here's the research bit, right? Go. It was invented in 1920, right? By a guy called Charles, Charles Leeper Grigg, right? He first sold it as, wait for this, Bib Label Lithiate Lemon Lime Soda. What a catchy name. <laughs> <laughs> so it had actual lithium in it up, wow. until, up and down to the 50s, right? Now, if you look at all the Irish magic wells, you know all these little stories of magic wells, or oh, you drink the water from that well. Mm. When they did surveys on some of these magic wells, they found trace ele elements of lithium also in that water, oh. right? Now, I know it's a massive stretch to say that when we stopped drinking from magic wells, we decided <laughs> <laughs> to go for 7 up. <laughs> That's only one reason. It's a far-fetched one. But this is the reason why I think Irish people and Irish mothers particularly have said flat seven up, right? <laughs> when I was 10, right, I had my appendix out, right? And it was my first ever time going to hospital. My father tried the ancient Irish method of run it off. <laughs> 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 run your appendicitis off. <laughs> right. When that didn't work, he said to my mother, I think you better bring him in, right? A day later, I had my appendix out, right? And I, was sur I woke up surrounded, surrounded by seven up bottles. But it was just seven up everywhere, right? Everywhere. This must be where it came from. When you're going to the hospital, you go, geez, what am I going to bring Dermot and Dave mm. in hospital, right? So you bring in seven up, right? But then why flat seven up? Mm. Why no fizz? And the only reason why I can think why we take the fizz out of it, because back then, if you drank 7-Up, it was pleasurable with fizz in it. And back then, you had to take the pleasure out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I think of flat 7-Up, I automatically think of Good Friday Mass. Remember Good Friday Mass? You'd be in there for like seven hours or something. <laughs> and you were the reason why God died. Right? <laughs> and, and that's the reason why I think flat 7-Up came about. Because if you had it normally... You would just, it would be a nice thing to drink, right? Is it, so I, is it Bernard, is there a chance? And um, now I know the, you know, the, the insistence on a joyless life is, is a good suggestion, but like, is there a chance that the 7-Up was meant to be taken, for, you know, because it would have a settling influence on your stomach? And if it was fizzy, that could counteract it. That would be the plausible reason, but this is not a plausible country. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like, a plausible country. It's, 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 it's far more interesting to say that it was punishment than it was for any practical reason.